okay in that uh, video you have seen a certain automated process used to transfer boxes coming from a one conveyor to another conveyor with a different uh, height level okay in this video we are going to discuss how to design a pneumatic circuit and how to write PLC uh, ladder logic program for this kind of process we are going to use uh, Festo fluid stream software to design the pneumatic circuit and write the PAC ladder logic program. Okay, first uh, study the process carefully. So then let's see how to design a pneumatic circuit, then how to design PAC ladder logic program for this process. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the initial setup for this process. Here you can see one A cylinder is uh, used to lift the box to upper conveyor upper position. So the two A cylinder is used to push the box into the second uh, upper uh, conveyor. So then the three A cylinder stops uh, box entering into the lifting tray. Here you can see the B6 uh, sensor is used to detect the box present at the gate and the B5 sensor signal is used to detect the box present at the uh, lifting tray. Then uh, one B2 and one B1 sensor signals are used to detect the end portion of the 1A cylinder. Again the 2B2 and 2B1 uh, read switches are used to detect the end portion of the 2A cylinder and a 3A cylinder upper position is detected by the 3B1 uh, read switch. Then this is the a pneumatic circuit design for this uh, process you can see the two double acting cylinders then here you can see to control the two double acting cylinders five three-way uh, directional control wires are used these uh, directional control wires are pilot operated uh, solenoid activated pilot operated spring centered five three-way directional control wires why the five three-way wires we use because uh, with 5 3 way wires, the cylinders can stop in, in, in any intermediate positions. Considering the safety, that is very important. That's why the 5 3 way wires use in here. Here again, you can see the one uh, single lactin cylinder that act as a gate. Here you can see the position for this one. Here 3 a uh, cylinder. Then to control the single lactin cylinder, 3 2 way wire is used in here. Okay, then uh, to operate this uh, pneumatic circuit, this is the PAC ladder logic program written. Here you can see the PAC ladder logic program written for this uh, process. Okay, first uh, run the program and uh, see how it operate. Okay, okay, let's see uh, how this uh, PAC ladder logic program is operating. Okay, here you can see once you press the start push button, it lash start memory until it uh, reset by the stop uh, button. Here you can see when the start button is present, then to give the B, uh, sen sen B6 sensor signal and B5 sensor signal, two switches are used in here. So then the B6 sensor signal mean uh, box is present at the gate. Okay, let's see whatever box is present at the gate. You can see this uh, 3 A cylinder uh, retract and uh, open the gate. Here, this is you can see the this couple of network is representing one mission. Here, there's a power flow to 3 Y1 R uh, memory when the B6 sense signal is there and 1 B1. 1 B1 that means lifting cylinder in uh, bottom position, retract position, then the B5 sensor signal is not there, there is a power flow to 3Y1 R relay. So then it produces the optional path, even the B6 sensor signal goes low, it uh, goes to high. So when the box is entered into the lifting tray, this one goes, this one should go slow. So then uh, this one should go high. 
when this one goes high you can see uh, the power flow to uh, 3 by 1 solenoid is uh, goes low so then it retract so then what happen then what happen this uh, couple of network uh, representing another mission the mission to extend one a cylinder you can see to extend the uh, one a cylinder the condition is uh, 3 b 1 sensor signal should be there that means the stopper should in extend position gate is closed so then the b5 sensor signal should be there b5 sensor signal should be there so then that means box should be at this position then it uh, this is the mission uh, end uh, signal is produced in the 1b2 1b2 mean the this cylinder in extend position so then it produce the latch this path is uh, switch on 1 y1 r uh, memory then it this memory produce optional path for latch the memory so then when the start button is pressed start memory is there 1 by 1 our memory is there 1 by 1 solenoid is activated so then 1 a cylinder extend so then let's move to the second mission second mission is to extend uh, to a cylinder here you can see here you can see 1 b2 sensor signal is reaches and uh, 2b2 is not reaches and task completed memory is not set situation 2y1 uh, dash r memory is switch on it latch producing the this kind of optional path in the situation when the start button is pressed when the memory this uh, memory is set this solenoid is activated 2y1 solenoid is activated here what is mean by the task completed memory here you can see the task completed memory mean to uh, to memorize the uh, task as completed here you can see task completed memory task completed memory is activated when 1b2 1b2 that means the lifting scene in extend position then uh, 2b2 is in extend position then when these two signal both signal reaches task completed memory is set then it produce the optional path additional path this additional path is uh, here you can see the task completed memory here the 1b1 this 1b1 switch is used to reset task completed memory after completing this task so after completing this task mean 1b1 when the lifting cylinder reaches to a, its a retract position task completed memory reset so let's uh, move to the next one then uh, you can see the still task completed memory is set so when task completed memory is set say here you can see the pushing cylinder uh, retract the condition to retract the position end is 2b2 2b2 sensor signal reaches it produces this kind of power flow to 2y2r memory so when uh, 2b1 is not reaches so then this uh, second cylinder uh, retract well, let's go ahead when it reaches to a to be uh, one position this uh, network is activated at when the 2b1 is present then the task completed memory is uh, set condition the 1y2r memory is set it produce the optional path also so then 1y2 uh, solenoid is activated 1y2 solenoid is activated and retract 1a cylinder 1a cylinder so let's go ahead still you can see the task completed memory is set, is on set state you can see when 1b1 sensor signal is reaches you can see the task completed memory uh, reset 
so then you can see all the memory reset so then it goes to a initial position so then now it's a ready to next cycle cycle this is how uh, this uh, PSD ladder logic program is operating with the pneumatic circuit this ladder logic program having the mission sequence pattern okay uh, I think uh, you all got a very clear idea how to design a pneumatic circuit and how to write the PSC ladder logic program to uh, for this kind of uh, process here we use uh, festo fluids in software if you are having any uh, doubt or if you want any further clarification put it in uh, comment section then I, I can help you okay that's all uh, see you next time thank you